Oh my god. Things have just gotten juicy. So, <laughs> this little fella, this little fella right here, he made a video on me. And I'm going to be talking about this, okay? Because this person is a side effect of what these people are. And oh my god, these people, they just won't stop. They are literally relentless. Like, I have a video I did, like, a year ago now, which was because of them. It's, I've been dealing with them for an entire year now. Like, do you ever get off the internet? My lord. So let's just get into this. Let's just get into this uh, garbage of a mess that is happening further and further. Alright, with some of the things that are in the video, first of all, I want to get over with one of the things, because I want to bring it up firstly, is that, first of all, Gone Fishing literally calls my friend, who is 15, the Maxia, a fucking future rapist, while Gone Fishing is way more older than him. First of all, that is fucking foul. You don't call someone that in general. Like, I don't care whoever is accused of what or whatever. That's, first of all, fucking defamation at that point. Like, you're just straight up saying that you can say in a joking manner. That's still fucking defamation if you're putting it on your channel with all of your subscribers, which you have 40 plus thousand subscribers watching that. That's disgusting. And it's funny because if you literally go through the comments, no one is talking about what he is saying in the comments. But then when it's like the people who subscribe to me and I appreciate all the support with all this, they're going into the comments saying like, free Connor, he's, he's innocent, stuff like that. And then there's people like, no, he isn't. And then like creating literal lies saying that, I did a document saying I was sorry, and then I wasn't actually sorry. What are you talking about? When did I ever do a document? First of all, I don't even fucking do Google documents like that. That's stupid. And the last one I actually ever did was last year in the start for my friend trying to help him because fucking COTVM, Cole the Bunny Mask, was harassing him. And it's funny because fucking Gone Fishing doesn't even bring up that part. How, no, just, he doesn't bring up in general how fucking COTBM has been legitimately harassing me nonstop. It's just, oh, Connor, he's the boogeyman. This and that to Maxia, he's a boogeyman. He's so evil. Oh my god, he's evil. And then they're like bringing up other people to try to further the point of how we're all so bad. And yeah, there's a literal person there that is bad. Fucking, first of all, Nethar is a manual. My god, he's bad. Ugh. Same thing with the Lone Traveler. But it's like, what you're doing is, it's like, okay, these two guys are really bad. And these guys are worse. So you're trying to, like, group us all together to try to, like, make it look like we're all the same. That's disgusting. First of all, a Lone Traveler is an actual pedophile, allegedly. Same thing with fucking Nethar, he's not a pedophile, but he's done a lot of other shit that's really bad, allegedly. So it's like, why do that? You're just trying to further your point of, like, glorification of us. <laughs> And then, and then you show images of me that I did not consent for you to use. And then you, like, fucking do it in a way to fucking spread hate towards me on stuff I never even did. Really? Really? That's disgusting. That's actually foul. You have a prominent community and you're weaponizing it to hate on people. And it's funny because you don't know who I am. I don't know who you are. And you're just doing this because you were told to. 
So you have no justification on any of this. And I fucking want you to say an apology publicly towards Demaxia, because that's fucking disgusting. It's actually foul. You don't say that to someone. You really don't. And he doesn't care that you said that. He doesn't. He's told me he doesn't. With all of this, he doesn't care about the video. He fucking thinks it's all stupid. But me, personally, I want you to fucking apologize on his behalf. That's disgusting. You don't do that to someone. You're way older than him. Also, I want to mention as well, is with this video, there's like audio he uses in the video, which was me and him in a VC. And first of all, you can barely even fucking hear the audio because his editing style is like if you're on acid. My god, you can't even hear anything. It's like if you're going to make a video talking about something, this is just a uh, criticism, take it as you want, I don't fucking care. If you're gonna make a video of doing something like this, do it fucking professionally. I don't care if that's the editing style you use, period. Make it professional, for God's sake. Plus, that VC, I was forced into a VC with him. He added me out of nowhere, and this was before any of this started happening with Gone Fishing. And I didn't know who he was. I was told by someone how he had a good amount of subscribers, and I was really freaked out, okay? I didn't know who he was. He added me. And then he immediately messages me, like, copy-paste. It was, like, no typing, just, oom, instant, saying, hi, I want to talk to you about blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, sure, okay. And I felt really uncomfortable. I was like, I don't know what to do. Because it's like when I interact with people like that, I get uncomfortable. I really don't know how to say no. So I just, I'm like, okay, sure. So I'm in VC with him. And he starts peer pressuring me for me to literally admit things. And he's not straight out saying, like, admit this, blah, blah, blah. He's, like, giving hints at it, purposely making me have anxiety, which I have severe anxiety. I do. I literally do. So he was preying on my anxiety, trying to, and he made me admit stuff that was not true. Me saying, I funded uh, Myths Uncopylocked when I never did. Blah, 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 and all this and that. I never fucking did anything with that. So in all honesty, it's disgusting how he forced me into a VC like that. I just wanted to bring that up because the whole entire VC, none of it is valid at all. And it's just taken out of context with him peer pressuring me, etc. This next part I want to mention has to do with a person by the name of Nicole. Nicole is the owner and curator of the Circus in the Sky Takes Flight Again, just basically a shitty knockoff of the actual Circus in the Sky. And take that as you will, if you literally join the game, it's all reused assets, and it's just dog shit, in my opinion. But anyways, away from the critiques, uh, they were basically discriminating against my friend Divality, and he Divality is the owner and creator of Demo Work Studios, an upcoming studio group. Go join. And I had a friend of mine, which is his friend, speak on his behalf. I will show the clip in a second, but I want to note Divality cannot speak on his own behalf currently due to him having exams with school and his phone being taken away due to his parents. So here is my good friend, Mr. Top Hat, a.k.a. Suleiman, with his response to all of this stuff happening. Okay, so you saw the message that the Nicole person sent about uh, Divality, right? Hmm. Do you think that was discriminatory? I, I literally heard Divality's voice. We've been talking for like, I don't know, two years or something. I never heard him drunk before. His voice is kind of normal, bro. Like, that's just his voice. He can't even buy, like, you know, an expensive mic because his parents... So would you of, say like, that's like... discrimination against him? Honestly? Uh, yeah. Alright, thank you for your response. So there you had it, folks. That was that... It has no relation to Gone Fishing. I just wanted to mention it due to it being a comment on my video with the myth drama thing. So without further ado, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. I would appreciate it. And I am utterly sick and tired of these people. For God's sake, for the last time, just stop harassing me for fuck's sake. I am the kind of person where if you just ignore me, I mind my own business. You're doing nothing to gain here. There is literally nothing to gain. 
So for real, just fuck off and have a good day.